to invest in renewable energy. And each of us are going to have different ideas about how. Um, but the Renew Saskatchewan plan is the Saskatchewan NDPs um, start to this conversation of how. And if you indulge me just one story quickly, um, I had one of my why moments quite recently. Many of you will have heard of the, um, the IPCC report on climate change. Really putting in very bold, all caps letters, um, sounding the alarm of the international scientific community about the dire need to, to make a change or we are going to face catastrophic climate change in the next 12 years. And I was in the car, um, CBC was playing, and it was a satire political show on how we messed up this planet and now it was time to look for other planets. And it, it was funny and I, I chuckled to myself. And then I looked in the rearview mirror and I saw my 12 year old daughter in the back seat and her eyes were about this big uh, because she'd been listening uh, to, to this report and you know, as much as I'm going to be here in 12 years, um, her, her future really is just getting started in 12 years. That's, that's my why, but I know each of you here have your own why. And we've invited some speakers to address some of those questions tonight um, about the why and about the how. And I hope that this discussion just um, starts here tonight. I know it already started up in Saskatoon last week, but continues to grow. And uh, I can't tell you again how encouraged I am to see you all here this evening. Um, our first speaker this evening, uh, if we could get uh, maybe a round of applause for those six, seven students at, Regi or at Lakeview uh, School um, and the film that we just watched here tonight. And our first speaker tonight is the filmmaker. And uh, he has a very compelling story about his, his own hows and, and whys with regard to renewable energy, and that is Stephen Hall. Uh, Stephen describes himself as a problem solver, he's a filmmaker, a dad, an early adopter, a relatively early adopter, a problem solver, and an energetic and persuasive speaker and proponent of solar energy. So without further ado, uh, I introduce to you Stephen Hall. Well, my own why actually um, began in a similar way to Carla's, um, but it changed. And so I want to tell you a little bit uh, tonight about my whys um, and, uh, and how it changed and why I think it presents a tremendous opportunity for all of us, actually, and a very optimistic, very hopeful opportunity for us and for our children. Um, about four and a half years ago, five years ago, my eldest daughter uh, turned eight years old. And uh, don't let this fool you, I'm an older dad. Um, I have two, two younger kids. And my eldest, uh, about five years ago, turned eight. And for me, it was a, a significant age because that's the age my dad uh, was when he passed away. And so I remember being eight. I remember it really clearly. It's fixed in my mind because of, because of that traumatic event. Um, and so when my eldest daughter turned eight, I, I really did a lot of thinking about what it was, what it was like to be a dad, what, what, what that responsibility really meant. Um, and I did this thing that I often do as part of my creative practice, I sort of flip things around and try to look at things in different ways. And, and so as I was speculating about, uh, or remembering, reminiscing about what my life was like when I was uh, at my daughter's age, I actually flipped it around. I was 53 at the time, and I thought, oh gee, I, I know how old what my life was like when I was her age. I wonder what her life will be like when she's my age. And I was 53 back then, and so the, the question I was really asking myself is what, what would my daughter's life be like in 2059? And, and this was before the IPCC report. I mean, I was aware of, of climate change by then, and I was aware of, of, of issues that we face globally, but boy, the image that came to mind was very unsettling. And at the time, I was doing a bit of consulting work with SASPAR. I was learning a little bit about some of the programs they had. I learned about the net metering program. I decided to do a bit of math and do some calculations and, and present a case to my wife um, for installing solar in our house. And at the time, the calculation I did, the best research that I could come up with at that point in time, 
uh, estimated that the cost to our family would be about $50 a month. And I was so convicted by the need to act and, and the need uh, to, to do something to protect my children's uh, future, uh, there was a pretty easy uh, case to make to my wife, and it was an easy decision for us to make, you know, we should do this 50 bucks a month to protect our children's future. So my why at that point was clearly my children. And so we did that. And we put in solar about four and a half years ago. Um, we put in a 7.65 kilowatt system. I won't get all technical on you. I could. Uh, it's fun. I love talking about it. It's very exciting stuff. Um, but anyway, it's a system that has worked incredibly well for our family. And to give you some context, we live uh, not far from here. We live in, in Lakeview. And we have a house that was originally built in 1951. It's kind of a large house. Um, and it has a, a basement suite. And I have a separate little studio. And we cover about 80, 85% uh, of all of our electrical needs. So our electrical bill um, has, has actually been reduced. And this is where my why changes a little bit now. Because I did this initially because I felt convicted uh, to do something for my children's future. But the why that I tell people about now, certainly for our children, absolutely. But guess what? I'm saving money. And that includes capital cost repayment for my system. I'm saving money. And what's happened in the last 10 or 15 years especially, but it continues to happen even in the last four years, is the economics for solar renewables um, and for this uh, new way of, of producing uh, and dealing with energy is changing uh, to our benefit almost daily. The economics are getting better almost daily. And so for me now, absolutely, uh, I will continue to do things to protect my children's future, but, but uh, and this, is, this is a great uh, benefit to my family's bottom line as well, um, and to all of our bottom lines. Now, I won't uh, deny that there are some hurdles to clear, um, but I think it's an exciting time, and any time uh, in, in, uh, anywhere in the history of, of uh, humankind, any time there has been a problem, uh, associated with those problems are opportunities, and that's really the way I look at it. I see, I see it as an opportunity for us to embrace the challenge. All of the signs are uh, that, that the economics are getting better and better all the time. Um, there's all kinds of compelling reasons for, for us to do this beyond the economics, but I do want to encourage all of you to think about that, because um, it's made such a huge difference to, uh, to my family's life, and uh, I'm super excited. I just want to uh, briefly talk about the film. Um, because I was super excited to work with uh, um, Jared and uh, his, uh, his uh, the children in his class. Um, and, you know, the reason that I wanted to talk to those kids was because I noticed when I talked to my own kids that uh, they're not caught up in sort of, sort of political stuff. Um, they sort of see things how they are. Uh, you know, and I, ca I call kids at this age kind of pre-political. They're smart enough to kind of understand some stuff, some sort of basic science and some basic economics and so on. And so what I wanted to do was try to just talk to them, just sort of ask them, what do they think? What do they think about this stuff? And the matter-of-fact responses that I got from them, is, by the way, it was all unscripted. I just, I was just on, on a, a separate camera looking at them, they were looking at me, and I was asking them questions. And the kind of, like, no-nonsense, straight-up responses that I got from them uh, I found super encouraging, and um, and that's why I call the film the Solar Generation because it really is their future. Um, interestingly, you know, uh, four kids explained climate change in 13 seconds, and they did a great job. If you watch the film and time it, it's like 13 seconds, and they gave a very clear explanation of climate change um, and the opportunities associated with solar. They see the opportunities and they're ready to embrace them. So I would just encourage you all to to talk about this. Um, ask questions. I'll be in the back later on. I'm willing to talk to anyone uh, about this stuff and our, our own family's journey. Uh, but I really do see it as a good news story. Thanks very much.